Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 23 through 24, and they read as follows. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through the, and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. So Paul is talking about the work in us, the completion of it. And it says, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And this is to set us apart from everything. To make us stand out in this world. The Lord's servants should stand out in this world. We should be different from the world. And we should be starting new relationships and doing things that he would have us do. We need to be set apart. And he says, he says, I right away, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And completely here is to say totally completely attained, wholly attained, going where the Lord intended for us to be. And he says, himself sanctify you. And this is just saying what we've all known. God does all the work in us. We don't do it ourselves. God does the work. So he himself sanctifies you. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved. And Paul uses two things that we sometimes interchange, spirit and soul. And he says they have distinct separation. Because Paul's Paul says it here, may your spirit, your soul, and your body. See, the spirit is what we will become. It is the highest part of our being we are in fleshly form our our soul is what we walk around in we have it common with everybody and then there's this flesh that we have and the spirit can draw up the soul it can bring it up to the spirit level but it, it's not reversed. They don't do it to the spirit. The spirit does it to them. But they both reference what is not tangible to us. The spirit and the soul are intangible. So Paul is telling them there is a hierarchy with us, with the human person. He says it right here. Spirit, top, soul, middle, body, last. And that is the way the Lord intended it. And that means the body goes to the soul, the soul goes to the spirit. And both the body and soul need the spirit. Because the spirit is how God works in us. So if you look at how Paul said it, he really said how God works in us first, the spirit. And the spirit dwells it down to the soul and to the body. Amen.